Now, I will tell you that these fields are static because I'm in Excel. I'm not in by design any longer, so I don't have the ability to drill down into it. But what I can do is you're going to notice here at the top, SAP Business by Design. I'm going to log in and I'm going to use my same login. And I'm using my same login here. There we go. Because my single sign-in gives me the privileges that I have in by design. And that's very important because I don't want to have someone come into Excel and have the ability to drill into and look at data in by design if I don't have access to it. So as an example, if I'm not privy to a PL balance sheet income statement in by design, I'm not going to have access to it out here in Excel. So what we're going to do is I showed you how I pushed data from by design into Excel. Well, let's go pull some data from Excel, from by design into Excel here. So what I've done is I've gone to a new page and I'm going to insert a report. Now I've given Bob access to many reports in by design. There's actually over 475 out of box reports in by design. And you're going to see, look at this list. The reason that I provided him with access to all the reports was I wanted you to see the depth and breadth of the reports that are out of box. And that's before I even start creating some new ones like I just did by adding on those two items, my accounts and my products. But we're gonna look at that sales order report. My sales order volume, there we go, and we're gonna insert it. Now this should look pretty familiar. These are the two columns that you saw from the beginning. There's my month and my calendar year, and there's my net value. Over here on the right-hand side, these are my selections and my views, exact same thing that we had in by design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a very simple backlog report. We're going to type in invoice. And what I'm going to do is let's go look at our invoice amount. And as I click on that, there we go. Invoice amount in the system. Now I'm going to do backlog and I'm going to make this the easiest thing that I possibly can. We're going to take this minus this and we're going to create our item and bring that on down. And there you go. As easy as that, I'm able to go into by design, capture data, bring it on over, manipulate that data in Excel. Because the high level formulas and calculations that are available in Excel are things that I want to be able to use to manage reports, but I want to pull that data over from by design. If I have a nice complex report in Excel and I want to be able to refresh that, that's great. I can have it refresh automatically when I open. I can have it refresh automatically at a specific time. I could refresh every single tab at the same time if I wanted to, and that's key. Maybe you have a nice 20, 30, 40 page workbook for your end of month closing for your financials, and you wanna update all of that data with a single click of the button, I can update every single tab in the system. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go back into by design, look at some time here, what we've got going on. Okay, we're right on track.